In this video, we're going to be going over how to use the Revolve tool in Onshape. Um, so what we're going to be creating is we are going to be creating this little one-by-one one, um, Lego round plate. Um, and the Revolve tool is awesome for uh, a piece like this, maybe like the Lego guy had or um, some different shapes like that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start a sketch on the front face here. Um, and again, make sure that, you know, we change our workspace units to millimeters, okay? Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go into my sketch one, and I'm going to grab a line tool. So for these plates, we know that the height of the actual plate um, is 3.2 millimeters. Um, and we also know that the stud height is 1.7 millimeters. Um, so what I'm going to do here is uh, essentially when you revolve, you only draw half of your shape. Um, so we know that our stud right here is 4.8 millimeters. Uh, we can go back and we're just going to do half of 4.8. So 2.4 millimeters. Um, we have the stud height, which is 1.7. And I'm just going to kind of connect it so that we have a shape right there. Um, for this next portion of this piece, um, we can actually look at this piece and, you know, it doesn't really tell us the overall dimensions and that's okay. We'll just kind of have to guess for right now. Um, we notice that, you know, this piece down here is clearly the biggest. Um, this looks to be about the smallest and then that is, you know, kind of in the middle of those two. Um, so I'm just going to kind of, I'll kind of make up a dimension for this part. Um, so what we're going to do for this part is I'll just kind of start over on my center point axis line here, and I'm just going to kind of come straight out. We know that our Lego um, bricks are 7.8, so we're going to do half of that, so 3.9. Um, and we'll just say that this is a one millimeter tall, um, and I'm just going to connect it over here. So we have another shape right there. Um, and then next, I'm going to just kind of finish off this piece right here. Um, so what we're going to do for this bottom portion is we know um, that this top stud is, you know, 4.8 um, in diameter or 2.4 radius. Um, and we've also been doing um, the wall thickness is 1.2. Um, so we're just going to kind of take half of that as well. So 2.4 plus 0.6 because that's half of the, uh, the wall thickness. So that is three. We're just gonna kind of bring this up here, connect it, and this also creates that shape, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna finish our sketch, okay? And we're gonna go to Revolve. It's the button right next to Extrude, so we're gonna click on Revolve. And the first step says, you know, click all of the faces that you would like Revolve. So we're gonna click our top one, our middle one, and our bottom one. Uh, and then it says click uh, the axis uh, you wish to re revolve around. So the axis we're going to choose, again, you can choose any of these. We'll just choose this line right here, and you'll see how it kind of revolves all the way around 360 degrees. We'll say OK, and now we essentially have our um, finished Lego plate round, OK? The last thing we need to do is we need to hollow out this area. So we're going to go to our shell, we're gonna click on the bottom of our um, round. Um, we would normally do 1.2 millimeters. If we look at that, it's like, wow, that, you know, that is, the hole looks pretty small. You gotta remember, we also factored in the size of this. So we're actually gonna take half of this, so 0.6 millimeters. Now we have the correct shelled thickness and we now have our finished one by one Lego plate round. So again, pieces like this, this is great for Revolve, you know, also, you know, a Lego person head, another great um, object to Revolve. Um, so this is how you use the Revolve tool in Onshape. 